You picked me. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey girl. Hey. Hi. I can't believe I'm on here. You are. Wow. Okay. All right. I was not expecting this, but okay. I'm here. I'm not together, but I'm you got, here. You got, you got, well, you called me. How was you not expecting it, baby? Well, because I get on your, sh I get on here, you know, whenever I can, when I'm not doing mommy duties. And I always, when I, I usually dress up just in case you pick me, but you never pick me. So I was just happened to be putting my babies to sleep when they put to sleep. I was like, let me just pop on here because I had an alert saying that you're on. Not think that you're going to pick me, but. Okay. Stay in okay. the light. Okay. So are you, do you want to do, wait, go back to where you was. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me turn on some more light. the light in your face. Okay. 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 Uh, is your name Veronica? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, Veronica, how old are you? I am, I'll be 49 in November. 49 in November. Mm -hmm. So you are, what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Veronica, 49 Scorpio. What mm -hmm. do you do for a living? I do a lot of different things. I mean, I went to college, so I'm a school teacher, but COVID, you know, I stopped doing that during COVID when they, when the school system shut down and then I went to my photography business, but then I really didn't get a good start on that because of COVID as well. I mean, I got a building and everything in my equipment. So I really didn't get a start off of that. And then I got married. I met somebody before COVID and I got married to them. And then somebody before COVID? Yeah. It's like in 2018. Okay. Stay in the line, honey. Okay. Okay. Um, wait, so I'm confused. What do you think we put down for your job? You can put down photography. Photography. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, so are you, okay, you got married. Are you divorced? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just got divorced three weeks ago. Oh, you, it's official three weeks ago? Yep. It's official. It's done. So you got married in COVID and then you got divorced now? Yep. Why'd you get My divorced? first marriage. It's my first marriage. Um, he's cheated on me. How did you find out? Well, so my story is kind of difficult. I met this particular person while he was in prison. And I never thought I would date somebody in prison, but I did. And actually his sister was running his um, page. And so I continued to date him for a couple years while he was in prison and I kind of fell for him. I don't know if it was love or lust, but I thought it was kind of love, but, and I supported him while he was in prison and whatnot. And then when he got out of prison, um, that's when we got married like a month after he got out of prison and by him living in a different state, Wisconsin, um, he, um, was still on probation. And so we were kind of like doing a long distance relationship just for a couple months until he can get up here in Michigan. And I knew that his attitude kind of changed. He kind of was distant. He would act kind of weird. And I really couldn't put my finger to it. And I just, the last thing in my mind was him cheating. I didn't want to, I didn't want to believe that. But then he was supposed to come back up here in December to stay permanently, but he would take his time and he would be like me. And then when he did come back up here, he was just so rude. He was like a whole different person. I'm talking about, like, I didn't know this person. And then um, I ended up getting pregnant with twins. What? My oldest son is 27. My babies are two now. Yeah, I ended up getting pregnant with twins. And... Uh, wait, wait, okay, I totally missed this. Wait, so yeah. when did you meet him in prison? In 2008. I met him in 2018. Okay, yeah, you met, he was in prison. Mm-hmm. So you, you guys started dating while, did you know him before you went to prison? Mm-mm, no, I was on a dating show, dating site. I was like on a dating site, actually. There's a prison dating site? Yeah, but his sister was running the running his um, page because they're not, they're not allowed to do that in prison. You can't like do dating sites or anything like that. So I thought I was talking to him at first, but then... She said, well, I'm his sister. I'm running his page right now. He's this and this and that. I can hook you guys up. And then she told me like where he was at and everything. And, and then you like, he put money on his books and stuff. And then, um, I, we would communicate like that. 
So we communicate like that for like a, a over a year. Cause he was at a work release center actually. So he's been in prison for 25 years. So he was at a work release center. So he had a little bit more freedom in a work release center than an actual prison because that's like the last step, you know, a work release center. And then after that you get released. And so he had, he, you know, he had a job and whatnot and everything. And so he was saving up and everything. And then when he got out, we got married. My family wasn't happy about it. Somebody in prison. I don't blame him because I wouldn't think I was going to marry somebody right out of prison. He went there when he was like 17. So I kind of got him, gave him the benefit of the doubt, you know, because I have teenage sons, you know, make mistakes and stuff. But, um, so on our kind of honeymoon, uh, I, he fell asleep and his phone was on the, um, laying around and I guess, you know, he didn't have his phone locked wait, and I picked wait, it up. What, what did y'all get married? Cause that's what uh, I think I got confused. Okay. We got married October. He got out of prison, August, 2020. We got married in October, 2020. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and we got, you got, and then you got pregnant with twins. Mm -hmm. Cause your children mm -hmm. are two years old. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the two. Yeah. And you got divorced three weeks ago. He, yeah, I should have gotten divorced a long time ago. But if you have kids, you have to wait automatically six months. But see, by him living in a different state, he always would like love bomb me. He would like, like I would suspect him. He and like this girl kept putting stuff on his Facebook page saying, I love you this, I love you that. I'm like, wait a minute, who the heck is this? And he was like, oh no, that's, she just playing. She just jealous. And all that kind of stuff. And by the time I was already pregnant, I was already married to him. And I'm like, what the heck? And I would always like ask him about it, but he would always be like, you know, I'm out of prison. People want me and everything and all that kind of stuff. But actually that girl that was, um, that girl that was posting and all that stuff, he would have right now and got a baby by her. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, yeah, it is crazy. <laughs> this is not even half of my story, but okay, okay. Um, let's let's mm -hmm. go. Okay. Um, oh, that's that. Well, let's end it right there. Um, okay. So now you're looking for a new man. <laughs> yeah, I am, but you know, I I am very cautious in who I meet because I invested a lot of time in this particular person, my ex. So you know, if I see any red flags, it's over. <laughs> I'm not enduring them. And plus, you know, I'm my mom, main, main focus right now. Yeah, I want a companionship. I want a husband, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to take care of what me and my kids right now and serve God. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody comes along way, I know it's God. I'm not doing it myself anymore. I'm not going to press the issue or do it myself. I'm going to let, let it go. I'm going to be under the direction of God. If it happens, it happens. And it's going to be right. I'm not you know, press. Okay. I mean, I'm, I want a husband. Yeah, eventually, you know, but. Well, let me ask this question. You have two year old twins. Mm -hmm. now, you know, there are some men that may be concerned that you have mm -hmm. two year old twins. What would you say to that guy? Well, you know, I was married and my attention was to stay married. My attention was not to get divorced. My attention was I did not know that my ex had another agenda. You know what I'm saying? He showed me a different part of him when he got released. I'm not staying with nobody who's cheating, who's a cheater or who who's really mean to me or or anything. I'm not staying with nobody. It's over. I'm not. I'm done. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I have four kids before my twins. I have um a 27 year old son. I got a 24 year old son and I got a 18, 19. She Wait, just turned 19. Kids do you, okay, I never even got there. How many kids do you have, Veronica? I have six. You you have six kids? Mm-hmm. How old, you're 49? Yeah, I'll be how 40. You, I'll be 49. You, I'm 48. Kids, I'll be 49 in November. How many kids do you, okay, you six kids. How old are your kids? My son is 27. 27. And my other son, he's 24. And then my two daughters, 19 and 18. And then my two year old. I was single. I was like, before I met this guy in prison, I was single for years, years and years celibate. I was, I was doing me. So, um, how many men do you have children by? Um, three. 
Um, I'll, hold on. Okay, three three minutes. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you ever been married? Yeah, this last marriage. That was my first marriage. The la okay, first marriage. Uh -huh. um, you've been married how many times? Just once. Oh, your last marriage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you are a photographer, Scorpio, mom to six by three men, married mm -hmm. once. And where do you where are you call me from again? Michigan. Michigan. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Michigan. Mm -hmm. Um, Veronica, what kind of man are you looking for? A God fearing man, a honest man, a sincere man, a hard working man, somebody who doesn't have any baggage. Um, when I mean baggage, I don't mean like kids or anything. I mean got issues and problems that they need to be dealt with. Now, if you have issues and problems, if you're getting help or seeing a counselor or something, we can work through that. And if it's not really crazy, but you have to have your head on your shoulders. You have to know what you want. You know, um, I don't want to get into a relationship and, you know, that person really doesn't know if they want to be in a relationship or not, or if they have some issues or anything. So I need to have somebody that has a stable mind. Um, yeah. And no cheaters <laughs> and no narcissists. Cause that's what my ex was a narcissist. He was a narcissist and I know narcissist traits. I know. Okay. Now I know. Okay. What, what are your <laughs> deal breakers? My deal breakers, cheaters. Um, somebody who doesn't, um, who says they're going to do something and they don't do it. Um, somebody who's lazy, somebody who don't want to work. I, sh I don't even, I don't even attract people like that. To tell you the truth. <laughs> um, I never ran across nobody like that. Um, but, um, and God, if they don't have God in life or they don't really acknowledge God, whatever, that's my, that's the number one deal breaker right there. Because if you don't have God, then you don't have nothing. So the guy look a certain way. I mean, knowing yes, what could be attracted to me may not be attracted to somebody else. So long as they're attracted, like I'm attract, I'm attracted to them, then they're, I'm all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, like I said, if I'm attracted to that person, you know, then we're good. If I'm not attracted to that person, it's going to be hard to like that person. Just like if they're not attracted to me, it's going to be hard for them to like me. So, okay. I mean, I mean, I don't really want to short dude no more because my ex was real short and I had a problem with that because I was taller than him. <laughs> but okay. I want somebody to be my height or taller. Okay, Veronica, do the man got to make a certain amount of money? No. You don't care? Nope. Oh. Okay. Mm -mm. okay. No, nope. long as he's trying and you know, whatever, you know. I mean, you gotta be making some money. I mean, because you know, I'm not gonna support no man. Never have and never will. Mm -mm. Like my ex, he didn't have really nothing. He was working at a work release center, you know. I was supporting him, but then we had goals, you know. So I had my business to back up. He said he had his business, he was gonna back up. We were gonna make things happen, but it didn't turn out like that. So if I really wanted somebody rich i would never have went to nobody in no let's do the kendra can Ooh, okay i'm in my night my nightgown so i'm not looking my best i don't even know how to uh put this phone down but i i'm working on my weight that's my flaw my way of eating candy your weight is your flaw right now it is yeah okay all right um and i just had i had twins two years ago so my weight is up and down there's a lot going on with you. Yeah, it's a lot going on with me too. But yeah, I'm not a real big person. Never been, but okay. okay. Uh oh, uh, all right. I don't know. I have to get my camera. Oh, but, there it is. Okay, Veronica, uh -oh. your last relationship was your marriage, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm trying uh, to get back up. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Oh, you got frozen, Veronica. I'm not sure what happened. Veronica, I'm not sure what happened. Veronica?